guys welcome to the video and here today we are covering uh, another update to the ps3's firmware um i you know it's been a while since the last one but like clockwork usually between the end of august up to some time like around the end of november we always get at least one update this has been happening since its uh release and uh, now that they've gone to pretty much just like one update a year, it's usually happening during uh, the holiday season or right before the start of it. So no surprise here. And it also should come as no surprise that this update improves the system's performance. I'm really glad Sony is concerned about that 13 years later, especially since no games have been released for this thing that anybody wants to play in like the last four years. But <laughs> with that, those of you who have a modded system, what should you do? What shouldn't you do? What can you expect? When can you expect it? Let's go ahead and cover all of that here real quick. All right, guys, so let's start with those who have a jailbroken system first. If you are fully jailbroken and you are in Kex or Kex mode or whatever, then obviously to get back on, you're going to need either a spoofer or an update to custom firmware. Now, spoofers usually always come out first, and this happens within a matter of hours. Usually, like within 24 to 48 hours, we'll see a spoofer that will get you, um, you know, back online. In this case, up to 485, and normally a send enabler that comes out with a, a new update. Um, and again, that happens fairly quick. And then custom firmware is usually updated within about a week or a couple of weeks. You start seeing the new updated custom firmwares starting to come out. Sometimes you'll see it within a matter of days. Uh, I know sometimes like Ferrex will put out, you know, the base uh, update to CFW like within a few days uh, of the official update. So let's see how that goes. Um, for those of you who have... Um, a jailbroken system and your index as lo as long as your index 4.82 or higher you don't have to worry about any of this i already logged in to see if it required dex to um to update and in this case it doesn't so if you are on 482 dex or higher you can sign in without any problems as you can see i'm in dex mode uh that's why i have this verbiage here in the lower right hand corner that pops up when you are in dex and if we go to our system information you will see it is on 482 All right then let's go ahead and go over here to the account information and there's a little delay here on the screen and there we go you can see my account management and all the other stuff here indicating that i am signed in to my account and i'm on 482 so no need to spoof if you're on Dex. Now, if you're using Hen, this is a different story, guys. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure spoofers don't work with Hen. You're just going to have to wait till there is an update to Hen exploit. Now, last time from 482 to 484, it took a little bit. Um, and I think there was even a 483 firmware there. And, um, I think Hen skipped over 483. Um, yeah, it, it took a little while. It took a little while for Hen to get updated. So um, I don't know if it's going to take that long again. Maybe there's just a little bit of tweaking they need to do to get it uh, updated. If Sony patched the vulnerability or the entry point or whatever that they used in order to make Hen work, if Sony patched that, then it might take a little bit more work to try and get Hen updated and working. And that's if they find a workaround because it's possible. Who knows? They may not. And uh, yeah, you just might get stuck on Hen 484 for a long time. Now, obviously, if you don't log into PSN for anything, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff, whether you're on custom firmware or hen it's just for those of you that need to log in to psn so those of you who are on hen make sure you know don't shoot the messenger i'm just bringing you the news i have no control over hen stuff so make sure that all of you still uh like the video because of course that keeps me motivated to keep bringing you the stuff that you want to see and that you enjoy and that it benefits you and all that good stuff and i will be on top of all of this uh, PS3 4.85 stuff as it comes out I will be letting you know just make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already so that's pretty much it guys told you it'd be fairly quick um, yeah let me know about what you think with these uh, PS3 updates still going on and hey 
to be honest, as long as PSN is still up and running for PS3 and those servers are going, we can always expect to be hit with an update at any time. The only time we're guaranteed that we won't get one is when the final server for PSN shuts down for PS3. That's the only time we can be assured that we won't get any more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Much love going out to all of you. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.